Tip number one, you wanna keep the same amount of beans generally in the hopper from one coffee to another. Because the more beans into the hopper, the more weight will be pushing down onto the beans and into the grinder, which will affect the dosing of your ground coffee. And as the hopper empties, you will, see, you will start to see some fluctuation of your ground coffee dosing because there's just not much pressure or weight pushing the beans down into the grinder. And one consideration about how much beans you want to keep in the hopper is how quickly you're going to use them. While the hopper cover seems to have an airtight seal, there's probably air coming in to the hopper from the tamp fan area and then through the grinder. We have noticed beans going stale a little bit faster if we keep them in the hopper. So if you have your hopper fairly full, you want to make sure you get through the beans within a couple days where you might start to see some fluctuation in your espressos from the beans going stale. Right now my hopper is empty because we measure out the weight of the beans before we put them in the hopper for exactly how much coffee we want to use. And that maximizes the freshness of our beans and also improves the consistency of our espressos. Tip number two, pre-warm your portafilter. To do that, you want to place the portafilter into the group head and leave it there for about 30 seconds to one minute and it'll warm pretty quick. You will be able to feel that it's warm just from the touch and it's even hot, so be careful. And that'll allow you to have a warm portafilter to receive your ground coffee so that when you actually pour your espresso, it'll maximize the heat of the espresso and you won't lose taste from the espresso cooling down too quickly. Tip number three, pre-warm your cups. You can pre-warm your cups by keeping them on the warming tray of the Breville Oracle Touch. Now this method works fairly well once the machine is already hot, but if you just turn on the machine and place your cup on the warming tray, the warming tray take, takes quite some time to warm up and so your cup may not be warm enough to start your espresso as soon as the machine is ready to go. In that case, what you can do is just fill your cup with hot water and then it'll be warm enough or put the cup for 30 seconds in the microwave and then place it on the warming tray and the warming tray will keep it warm. Tip number four, wipe down the portafilter with a slightly damp paper towel or cloth towel. There are two reasons you wanna do that. If you've been warming the portafilter into the group head, sometimes you will see some condensation collect around the filter basket. Obviously you don't want condensation in your filter basket when you're about to receive fresh coffee grounds. Second reason is because using a slightly damp paper towel or cloth towel in your filter basket will cause the fresh coffee grounds to stick a little bit better to the wall of your filter basket and improve the tamp fan performance. If you've been having some consistency issues with the tamp fan, maybe some waves on your fresh coffee grounds, then using a slightly damp paper towel and wiping it around should improve your tamp fan performance. Tip number five, flush the group head before brewing espresso. There are two reasons you want to do that. First, flushing the group head will make sure that you remove any residual coffee grounds that are stuck on the filter. And the second reason is to stabilize the water pressure before brewing your espresso to ensure the consistency of your espresso. To do that, press the brew button on your screen and let it and let it flush for five seconds. To stop, press the button again, and now you have flushed your group head. As soon as you're done flushing the group head, move your quarter filter over and brew your espresso. Tip number six: flush the group head after brewing espresso and wipe down the screen. When you're done brewing espresso, your puck will leave some coffee residue onto the screen of the group head. I will show you what that looks like.
So to flush the group head, select any option on the screen and press brew for five seconds. Then use a damp paper towel or cloth towel and wipe down the screen of the group head. And as you can see, there's still coffee residue despite flushing the group head. If you really want to maximize the consistency of your espresso, consider getting scales, such as this one, which fits really nicely under the group head or a bigger scale like this one that will actually accommodate the full length of the portafilter so that you can measure the weight of your coffee as it comes out of the grinder. If you want more information on that, please check out our other videos on measuring and brewing espresso with scales and the Breville Oracle Touch Machine. Tip number eight, you want to keep your machine clean. Please check out our other videos that discuss proper maintenance for your Breville Oracle Touch Machine. If you liked this video, remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.